So this is the best Titan Strand build in Destiny 2. It offers unlimited nades, unlimited melee ability, unlimited class ability, it's super tanky, decent heals, and an orb making machine. If you guys just wanna go ahead and copy the build, the timestamps are in the description below, but if you guys wanna go ahead and understand the build, make sure you guys stick around. I just wanna go ahead and mention before we get into this build, that these builds are not set in stone. These builds are nothing but a stepping stone for you guys to find your own build. But let's go ahead and get into this strand build, starting off with unlimited nades and melee ability. Did you know which strand, once you defeat a severed target, it spawns a tangle? And once you have this green ball or this tangle up that you can grapple onto it as many times as you want to, giving you unlimited nades and unlimited melee ability that's a thing that you can do just grab onto this ball over and over and over again giving you unlimited nades giving you unlimited melee ability moving on to the next thing and that is unlimited class ability to get unlimited class ability as a titan all you have to do is defeat suspended targets and pick up all the orbs that you're going to be making believe me we're going to be making a bunch of orbs but if you pay attention while picking up these orbs and defeating these suspended targets you're going to notice your class ability just continuously coming back as long as you defeat a suspended target or pick up orbs you're going to notice that your class ability is always going to be ready to be used Next thing you have is being super tanky. If you decide to go with this build and use these exact same boosts that I'm using, every time you suspend a target, you will gain Woven Mail. And if you guys don't know what Woven Mail is, it gives you a 60% damage reduction to every single damage you got incoming towards your way, except for headshots. And again, all you have to do is suspend target so the next thing we got is an orb making machine with this specific build we're going to be making orbs in six different ways and all six ways to be honest are extremely easy orbs are really good in the season for your teammates our orbs are really good for yourself to charge you up for the you know different damages to make special ammo to give you stats like orbs are very important this season so we're going to be making orbs in six different ways and like i said they're all extremely simple so the first way we're going to be making orbs is just rapid defeats with strand weapons using strand weapons multiple kills i think just just simply a double kill should spawn an orb same thing with void weapons defeat rapid targets with void weapons we're gonna spawn an orb number three defeating targets with the melee we're gonna spawn an orb defeating targets with a nade we're gonna spawn an orb suspending targets and defeating them with the precision damage that's gonna spawn an orb and defeating targets after using our class ability which we're gonna be consistently doing anyways to suspend targets we're gonna spawn an orb so again six ways to make an orb one is our strand weapon two is our void weapons Three is our melee, four is our nades, five is our precision hits on uh, suspended targets, and six is defeating a target after using our class ability. The last three things I wanna go ahead and mention is, one is regarding the heals and two things to remember while using this class. Regarding the heals, you have really three formats of healing. First thing is, of course, is having 100% recovery. That definitely helps with the strand class since you really don't have a lot of formats of healing from this class. Having 100% recovery helps a lot. That way you can get into cover and have your, you know, your health come back quickly. Uh, the next format of healing with this subclass is when you see a tangle get destroyed. When a tangle is destroyed, it's going to send this a wave. I think two to three waves of just healing. I don't know. I don't know what's specifically what's going on right there. But if you're near a tangle that got destroyed, it's going to have this pulsing wave that is just going to replenish your health. Another way of healing, which I don't have it enabled with this current build, but it's very simple. All you have to do is switch up one of those mods is whenever you pick up an orb, it can start health regeneration or whenever you pick up an orb, it goes ahead and gives you a certain amount of health. So if you really are in need of health, those are the three, three, we, uh, three ways of healing with the subclass, 100% recovery, being near a tangle that's destroyed. And also if you decide to put on the mod, which is pick it up orb and the last two things i said that i wanted you guys to remember while using this subclass is that you have unstoppable built in and you also have anti-barrier built in so you just simply use your subclass i mean your class ability and you'll be able to suspend unstoppable enemies and they'll be suspended and they'll be unstopped or whatever you'll, you'll stun them i guess that's the term i'm looking for and with anti-barrier it's a little bit more tricky to 
to kind of activate but all you have to do is get like a double kill or a triple kill with your primary weapon and then you'll get something called unraveling rounds on your strand weapon so i am specifically using strand weapons with this build and that is what also helps me with the anti-barriers so unstoppable built in anti-barrier built in very very handy with the subclass all right so i definitely did tease you guys with the build i explained the build so I think it's time to finally show you guys what the build exactly is. All right, so the first thing we want to go ahead and talk about with this class, it is the stats. The first thing we want to go ahead and focus on is 100% resilience. It's going to give you the damage reduction. It's going to give you back your class ability really fast the next thing you want to focus on is recovery this class doesn't have a lot of heal very similar to stasis no healing from this class no, no, no heals from the melee no heals from the grenades no heals from there's really not a lot of heals coming from the class so i definitely recommend a hundred percent recovery so you can get into cover get behind your shield and get your health to come back quickly the next thing you want to go ahead and aim for is probably discipline but not really because like i mentioned in the title with this build you're gonna you're going to have unlimited nades so it's like why would you build nades when you're going to have have unlimited nades so you can probably build into intellect but again this is a choice that can be made up to you if you want to build into intellect and get your super back faster or you want to build into your nades to get back your nades even quicker in case you mess up the rotation to get unlimited nades moving on to the helmet what we have is a void siphon strand siphon heavy ammo finder moving on to the arms we have heavy handed we have fire power and we have bolstering detonation Moving on to the chest, which really doesn't matter. These are resist mods. Moving on to the boots, we have insulation, insulation, and orb of restoration. This is the one that you can change to heal you. So if you feel like you need more healing, I would put on one of these, either the one that gives you a certain amount of health or starts health regeneration. The one that you, you like better, I'm not sure which one is better. I haven't really figured that out yet, but again, at the moment, I currently have to reduce my class ability when I pick up an orb. Moving on to the class item, what we have is special finisher. All we have to do is pick up three orbs and then we're allowed to have unlimited uh, special ammo. And since we make unlimited orbs, we kind of also have unlimited special ammo. We have Reaper and we have Bomber. So when it comes down to the actual subclass, here's what we got for the abilities. We got the little shield, strafe lift, we have the melee, we have the grapple grenade. When it comes to the aspects, the two aspects, we only have two. And then when it comes down to the fragments, we have thread of wisdom, thread of mind, thread of uh, transmutation, and then thread of continuity. And that is it for the actual subclass. The only main thing that is important regarding the weapon is I recommend using void one because again we had void siphon and two because for this specific season we have volatile flow and one perk that i don't have on that they take benefit of using void weapons so really recommend using void weapons when using the strand build and i really recommend using a strand weapon this season with strand build due to the fact that there's also three mods specifically tied to strand we have entangler which destroying a tangle with a strand weapon suspends targets damaged by the explosion then you have allied unraveling rapid final blows with strand weapons grant your weapons unraveling rounds with a longer duration near allies and then finally you have threaded blast destroying a tangle with a strand weapon creates a larger and more damaging explosion so definitely would take advantage if you're enjoying strand and you want to take uh you know benefit more for your strand weapons and benefit more with the class definitely Definitely recommend using a strand weapon and if you want to use a strand primary that is really 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 good i really recommend this weapon right here we have tango lock uh well not tango lock we have target lock we have reconstruction we have armor piercing rounds and this goes up to almost um i think 108 in the mag 100 and something wild really really amazing uh auto rifle i've been enjoying it really good damage and i'm surprised that i'm using an auto rifle but like i said with all the benefits that uh strand is offering this season with the artifact with the strand weapons i am definitely enjoying strand but anyways that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy please be sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new i'll catch you guys in the next one peace